In the world of football, legends are born on the pitch but cemented through debates and controversies. For over a decade, two names have dominated the footballing universe, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Their rivalry has defined an era. But as their reign continues to capture headlines, the question remains, who stands as the third best of this generation? Many have pointed to one man, Neymar Jr., the Brazilian sensation who has dazzled the world with his skills, flair, and creativity. Yet, this title is far from universally accepted. In this video we take an exhaustive look at Neymar's journey, his brilliance, his failures, and the never-ending debate over whether he truly deserves the title of the third best player of his generation. To truly understand Neymar's claim to greatness, we have to go back to where it all started. Brazil, a country synonymous with football greatness from Pelé to Zico, Romário to Ronaldo. Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. was a name on everyone's lips before he even turned 18. Born in Magui das Cruzes, Sao Paulo, Neymar grew up in a footballing family, quickly rising through the ranks of youth football before joining Santos FC. He didn't take long to announce his arrival, showing flashes of brilliance that drew comparisons to the legends of Brazilian football. By 2011, Neymar had already led Santos to their first Copa Libertadores title in nearly 50 years, following in the footsteps of the great Pelé. His performances didn't go unnoticed, as Neymar won the South American Footballer of the Year award twice in 2011 and 2012. He wasn't just a Brazilian star anymore, Europe's top clubs were circling like sharks. But beyond the trophies and accolades, it was the flair that truly made Neymar special. He wasn't just about efficiency, he was about entertainment. His creativity, ability to beat defenders, and audacity to try the impossible quickly made him a fan favorite, not only in Brazil but globally. The world wanted to see what this young prodigy could do on a bigger stage. In 2013, Neymar made the leap to Europe, joining Barcelona for a reported 57 million euros, though the true cost of the transfer would later spark legal battles. The move to Barca meant Neymar was stepping into a club steeped in footballing tradition, where expectations were immense. However he was not stepping in as the main man, that title belonged to Lionel Messi. How would Neymar fare alongside the best player in the world? Instead of wilting under the pressure, Neymar thrived. Alongside Messi and Suarez, Neymar formed one of the deadliest attacking trios in football history, the MSN. They would go on to win the treble in the 2014-2015 season, and Neymar played a crucial role in their success. His performance in the Champions League that season, especially in the final against Juventus, where he scored the third goal, solidified his place among the elite. By the end of his four years at Barcelona, Neymar had won two La Liga titles, three Copa del Rey trophies, a Champions League and a FIFA Club World Cup. He had cemented himself as one of the best players in Europe. But for Neymar, being a key part of an iconic team wasn't enough. He wanted more, he wanted to be the main man. In the summer of 2017, Neymar made what is still the most expensive transfer in football history, Euro 222 million to Paris Saint-Germain. The move sent shockwaves through the football world. For many, it signaled Neymar's desire to step out of Messi's shadow and prove that he could lead a team to glory on his own terms. But others questioned his decision. Was League One, considered a weaker league compared to La Liga or the Premier League, the right place for a player of his caliber? Neymar's start at PSG was explosive. He quickly became the focal point of the team, scoring and assisting at a remarkable rate. His partnership with Kylian Mbappe and Edinson Cavani formed another formidable attacking line, and PSG dominated domestically, winning League One titles year after year. However, Neymar's time in Paris has been far from smooth. Despite his undeniable talent, Neymar's PSG career has been hampered by injuries. His metatarsal injury in 2018 ruled him out of the crucial stages of the Champions League, and it became a pattern. Neymar was often absent when PSG needed him most. In addition, his off-field behavior has raised eyebrows. From his desire to return to Barcelona in 2019 to confrontations with referees and players, Neymar's time at PSG has been tumultuous. His desire to return to Barcelona in 2019 further fueled the narrative that Neymar had made a mistake leaving Messi's shadow. While his stats at PSG, averaging nearly a goal or assist per game, are incredible, his legacy remains divided. Is dominating a league like League One enough to crown him the third best player of this generation? Or has Neymar fallen short on the biggest stages? When it comes to the Brazilian national team, Neymar has carried the hopes of a football-crazed nation on his shoulders for over a decade but his international career has been a story of glory and pain. 
his early performances in the Copa America and Confederations Cup saw him rise as Brazil's new hope for the future, but the ultimate prize, World Cup glory, continues to elude him. In 2014 playing on home soil, Neymar was expected to lead Brazil to a sixth World Cup. But after a stellar tournament his dream came crashing down in the quarterfinals against Colombia, where a back injury ended his campaign prematurely. Without their star, Brazil was humiliated by Germany in the semi-finals in a crushing 7-1 defeat, a moment that will forever be etched in football history. In 2016 however, Neymar delivered one of his career's most emotional victories. Leading Brazil to their first Olympic gold medal in Rio, Neymar cemented his status as a national hero, scoring the winning penalty in the final. But the quest for a World Cup continues. In 2018, Brazil's hopes were dashed once again, this time by Belgium in the quarterfinals. Neymar is undoubtedly the most talented Brazilian player since Ronaldo, but his international career has been riddled with bad luck. Injuries at crucial moments have robbed him of the chance to fully showcase his talents on the biggest stage. Yet, for many Brazilians he remains their talisman, the man they look to for magic. Neymar's ability to carry the team cannot be overstated. When he's on the field, Brazil plays with confidence and flair. But questions remain. Can Neymar lead Brazil to World Cup glory like Pelé, Romário or Ronaldo before him? Until that happens, his legacy with the national team remains incomplete. While Neymar's talent is undeniable, his career has been marred by controversies. Some self-inflicted, others exaggerated by the media. From accusations of diving and play-acting to his sometimes volatile behavior on the field, Neymar's attitude has often drawn more attention than his football. During the 2018 World Cup, Neymar's theatrics against Mexico became a global meme, with critics accusing him of tarnishing his reputation through unnecessary dramatics. It's a double-edged sword, Neymar is one of the most fouled players in modern football, often the target of rough tackles but his exaggerated reactions have not helped his cause. For many fans, Neymar's perceived lack of sportsmanship has overshadowed his brilliance on the field. Every great player has their critics, but Neymar's actions, particularly when it comes to diving, have certainly hurt his image. Instead of being seen purely as a genius with the ball, he's viewed by some as a player who lacks discipline or maturity. There's no denying Neymar's technical ability, but his temperament has been called into question time and again. Whether it's altercations with referees, confrontations with fans, or his general attitude when things aren't going his way, Neymar's behavior has often detracted from his legacy. So, where does Neymar truly stand in the conversation of the third best player of this generation? Statistically, his numbers are astounding. With over 400 goals and countless assists, Neymar's offensive contribution rivals that of Messi and Ronaldo. But football is about more than just statistics. It's about impact, consistency, and the ability to deliver on the biggest stage. When compared to Messi and Ronaldo, Neymar falls short in terms of consistency. While he has had several outstanding seasons, injuries and time spent away from the pitch have hindered his ability to stay at the top for prolonged periods. His goal-scoring and creative output is undeniable, but when it comes to leading a team to Champions League success, Neymar has only managed to do so as part of a trio with Messi and Suarez at Barcelona. At PSG, he has yet to deliver a Champions League trophy despite the club's significant financial backing. For me, the third spot in this generation is still open for debate. You've got players like Robert Lewandowski who has been incredibly consistent over the years and Kylian Mbappe, who is fast becoming a global superstar. Neymar's talent is unquestionable, but when you factor in injuries and off-the-pitch distractions, he may have slipped behind others in recent years. Neymar's individual brilliance often goes unnoticed because he's had to share the spotlight with Messi, Ronaldo, and more recently Mbappe. But in terms of pure talent and technical ability, there's a strong argument to be made that Neymar, at his best, is the third best player of this generation. The problem is, we haven't always seen him at his best due to injuries and inconsistency. Neymar's story is far from over, but the debate surrounding his legacy rages on. Is he the third best player of this generation? or has his inconsistency and injuries held him back from true greatness. For many, Neymar represents everything that's beautiful about the game, flair, creativity, and a sense of joy that's infectious. For others, he's a symbol of what could have been. A player who, despite his immense talent, hasn't fully realized his potential on the biggest stages. In the end, football is about more than just stats or trophies. It's about the memories players leave behind for the fans. Whether Neymar is the third best player of this generation or not, one thing is for certain. 
his moments of magic, his audacious dribbles, and his breathtaking goals have earned him a place in the hearts of millions. So, we leave the final question to you. Is Neymar Jr. the third best player of this generation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. This debate will go on for years but one thing is certain. Neymar Jr. is a player who has defined a generation. Will he secure his legacy as one of the greatest, or will his career remain a tale of untapped potential? Only time will tell.